Sports to the Bone family. Greetings, greetings, greetings once again. Rain, 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 rain. Pure rain. <laughs> but we're here uh, just to talk a little bit about last night's game in the CPL. Yes, we had the Guyana Amazon Warriors securing a very um, convincing victory over the Barbados Royals. So we're going to take a look at the scorecard and you know we're also going to talk a little bit about our legend Dwayne Bravo yes Dwayne Bravo I'm going to talk about him a little bit so just give a listening ear until the end let me know what you all think in the comment section and as per usual if you are a supporter and you have not yet subscribed you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right all right let's um talk a little bit about Dwayne Bravo before we go down into last night's game so doing bravo my viewers and subscribers he got hurt in tkr's last game i think it was a game against st lucia kings if i'm not mistaken and you know he got hurt he, he tried to bat you know but he had to leave the field and um that injury it has actually um caused him to say listen that's it for me where cpl is concerned that's it for my career in you know um franchise cricket going into the cpl he had announced that the cpl this year would be his final franchise um you know tournament of his career so we just want to say hats off to doing bravo for entertaining us throughout the years um i will always say that he is probably top two when it comes on to bowling in t20 cricket Oftentimes I use my Caribbean bias to put him one arm um, to put him at number one. But I know that you know it's 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 pretty tight between him and, and Malinga. You understand? I, I I like doing Bravo. You understand as a player. So you know oftentimes I, I say that he is the best when it comes on to bowling in, in T twenty cricket. But I am not I am not stupid, you know. I I, <laughs> I know all of what Malinga has achieved in, in, in the game just the same. So you know, I, I I just want to say big up to Dwayne Bravo. You know, he entertained us throughout the throughout his um throughout his career, and um even though you know in the CPL he's never a part of the team that I support, but you know it's always a pleasure to watch him. Uh, when he was a part of West Indies um team, you know it was always a pleasure to watch him. Somebody that uh always you know he always gave his best, um whether he's bowling, whether he's batting, or fielding. You understand? I remember my friends and I when he, you know, when he was very, very, when he was younger, you know, everybody always wanted to play what we call the Dwayne Bravo shot. You understand? Not saying that he, he only played one shot, but, you know, he, he was famously known for playing that um, shot inside out, over cover, <laughs> over cover. You know, he was, he always um, played that shot. So, you know, I want to say big up to Dwayne Bravo for entertaining us throughout the years. All right. Um, let us finish here by taking a look at last night's game. Now, the Guyana Amazon Warriors, their batting clicked and they won the game by 47 runs. You understand? They ended up scoring 219 for 8. But, you know, um, I must say the Barbados Royals, their bowlers, in the middle to the latter stages of their bowling innings, they started to pull it back somewhat because the rate that um, Shimran hit my and she hope we're going at. You know, it seemed as if um, the Warriors were going, were on, um, on the road to score probably 230, 240. But, you know, they, they pulled it back quite well. But um, 219 for 8 with, uh, you know, She Hope and uh, Shimran Hitmeyer leading the way. Uh, Gerbaz, he returned to the team. You understand? Um, he got a 6 to get off the mark. Then he got a single, uh, you know, but unfortunately for him he was removed after that so he was removed for seven um azam khan he got off to a good start also but jason hola made sure he didn't capitalize on that start he made 26 from 17. she hope um you know finally showing all that class all that um you know good technique he scored 71 from 37 with five fours and five sixes strike rate of 191.89 played some very very nice um shots some satisfying shots you could say 
you know when he comes on to she hope when he's firing you know he's not somebody that's gonna slug at the ball or swipe at the ball if you if you will you know he will play some very elegant looking shots and that's what happened last night Moen Ali came in he looked as if he was in a rush you understand he scored eight he got a six and then he, he was removed um even before Moen Ali though um Shimran Hitmeyer spoke about Shimran Hitmeyer earlier you understand Shimran Hitmeyer he got 57 from 34 four fours and three sixes strike rate of 167.65 um, it's always a pleasure to watch Shimran Hitmeyer in form and scoring. You know, I, I, I said it before the CPL even started that this needs to be his year. You understand? This needs to be the year where he steps up and lead Guyana Amazon Warriors when he comes on to their batting. You understand? Um, I want, I want um, Hitmeyer to, to, to really, you know, find himself in the form where he will go on to, 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 to be somebody that you know when he's playing international cricket they are planning for him i mean obviously they know is they know how good he is but we want them to have to spend extra time to plan for him that's how consistent we want um hitmeyer to be and we know he has the talent he has the ability to do it so you know when I, when i when i saw him batting last night i was really you know it was really nice it was good watching him um scoring and you know he he has the ability to muscle the ball but he also has the ability to play some very elegant looking shots so you know it was good seeing um hitmeyer out there uh romario shepherd he scored 23 from 13 two fours and one six kimo paul one um doing pretorius got 12 and juna sinclair made four from one not out so that's how they got 219 for eight now the barbados royals you could say that they were one bowler short they were searching for a six bowler that's how ruffman powell the who is a, who is a specialist batsman these days ended up bowling he bowled one over and it went for 25 runs you understand he was he was carted all over the place um also mixed in a couple of um illegal deliveries you know <laughs> um wide and and, and thing like that um tiki shani bowled four overs 15 runs three wickets so once again proving that he is he's a cut above the rest jason Ola four overs 41 runs one wicket navin Olak four overs 45 runs maharaj three overs 48 runs one wicket Obed Makar, four overs, 44 runs, one wicket. Ravman Paul, one over, 25 runs. So, you know, the thing is, um, they have a couple of um, spinners here. You understand? A couple of guys who are good at changing pace and all of that, you know, when they are bowling. But the problem is, when you have a hit my Anna and a she hope going at you, whether you're bowling pace or spin, you know, they can find ways to score. And that's how it went um, for them last night. Now, the Barbados Royals, they started off um, by losing a couple of early wickets. You understand? So they ended up getting 172 for nine, um, losing by 47 runs. So Quinton Dukaki made 35 from 23, three fours and two sixes. Strike rate of 152.17. Kadim Alain made one, Alec Arthur is eight, Rivaldo Clark 17 from 14, and the overseas, um, overseas player David Miller, he got 71 from 34, you know, he was left not out. Unfortunately for him, he ran out of balls and also ran out of um, established batting partners. You understand? So he was left not out on 71. Ravman Poel, the captain, made 10. Imran Tahir uh, made sure that he, he, he didn't go any further. You understand? Um, Jason Ola made 7. Maharaj made 1. Tikishani made 2. Obed Makai 13. And Navin Olak was left not out on 1. No bowling for the Guyana Amazon Warriors. Goody Kishmoti, he went for some runs. Went for 42 from his 4 overs. But more, um, most importantly, he picked up three wickets to lead the way. Moen Ali bowled four overs, 16 runs, two wickets. Um, Juna Sinclair bowled uh, two overs for 28 runs. Pretorius, uh, four, for 30, four overs, 35 runs, one wicket. Imran Tahir, three overs, 22 runs, two wickets. And Romara Shepherds, three overs, cost him 28 runs and he picked up one wicket. So that is basically how that game went. So shout out to the Guyana Amazon Warriors and shout out to Barbados Royals. They didn't get across the line, but that's how the thing set. Big up on yourself.